Hey guys, Tech Made Easy, and thank you so much for clicking on our video today. Well, we are out in the cold, Brooklyn and I, and we are going to be doing a review, a detailed review, by the way, and head-to-head -head on the Bouge RV and the Renogy 100-watt panel. As you can see, there are slight differences. We're going to be covering detailed specs. We're going to be talking about bus bars, which is pretty interesting. We are also going to be testing wattage. And we're going to use a multimeter, and we're going to be testing voltage and amps as well. So stay tuned. Let's get started. Hi, it's Al from Tech Made Easy with a real quick message. I just want to let you know the video you're about to watch is not sponsored. We went out and bought the products ourselves. So if you like our video, please give us a thumbs up. It definitely helps. Share our video. And lastly, we hope you subscribe to our channel and become a part of the family. Thank you. All right, so what we're going to do now is we're going to start off by taking a really good close look at these panels and I'll go over some specs. After I'm done with that, I am going to do some testing on wattage using the EcoFlow Delta Max. After that, we'll go ahead and check um, voltage and we'll check amperage as well. So there's a good look at the size comparison uh, with the Renogy on the right and the Bouge RV on the left. The Renogy is a little taller and it's a slight bit narrower than the Bouge RV. Now, as far as bus bars, the Bouge RV has nine. So you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then these two halves are nine. On the Renogy, you've got five, but they are a little bigger. One, two, three, four, and then again, these two become your fifth one as far as bus bars. As far as cells, they both have 33 cells. Renogy states on their website they have 36, but I counted 33. All right, so it's basically three sets of 11. All right, 11 going down, and then you got three sets on both of these, which would be 33 cells. Efficiency rating on the Renogy is 22%. And Bouge RV is 21.9. Very, very similar there. As far as your IP rating on your junction box in the back, where the cables are connected to, uh, the Renogy's got IP65, and the Bouge RV is listing at IP67. Here are the junction boxes. Now, the Renogy does um, also rate their cables so they're rating their cables at ip67 14 awg for the thickness i couldn't find the rating on the uh, bouge rv on amazon or on bouge, bouge rv's website now they do look like they give you a slightly longer cable on the bouge rv in comparison to the renogy okay Now, I do have to say, these are both made very well. No complaints here. These are companies that have been in the business for a while, obviously. So, these are monocrystalline uh, cells, by the way, as far as the solar panel is concerned. And warranty, Bouge RV lists an 18-month warranty. I didn't find the warranty for the Renogy. If I do, I'll put it up here on the left at some point um, if I do find the warranty. One thing I want to point out is mounting holes. The Renogy is definitely giving you a whole lot more mounting holes. They have 20. They have four on the top, and four on the bottom, and then obviously the remainder are actually on the side. So they do a really good job in giving you plenty of uh, areas to mount, by the way. Now, uh, Bouge RV looks like they're only giving you four, okay? They're just giving you the one here, the one there, 
and the same on the other side, one here and one there. Again, that could mean something to someone. And plenty of drain holes, by the way. These little holes here are drain holes. You know, if you're going to have these outdoors um, and somehow they get snow or condensation in the panel here, you know, it'll actually drain out. So that's what those are for. All right, so we've got the Bouge RV. 9BB 100 watt panel set up here. And after, we're going to go ahead and test the Renogy. Okay, and then we'll see what's the difference between these two 100 watt panels. Now, connecting the uh, adapter is real easy. It's just a male female, but make sure they're pushed in all the way. All right, got one. Not the other. All right. Just make sure you push it all the way. Sometimes they'll make a clicking noise. Now we're going to connect the um, XT60 adapter that connects to the uh, EcoFlow. Now this is the EcoFlow Delta Max. Okay. We did a really cool review just recently on the top seven features of the Delta Max. And we also did a refrigerator test to see how long this beast plus the extra battery would last so we will put a link in the upper right hand corner if you want to check that out i'll put an image on the screen also right over there just in case you want to see later on what the video image looks like and we'll put a link in the description but now we're going to just open the panel and we're going to connect this now we have to come around pretty quickly um because it's going to turn on it is receiving sun so push it in let's come around pretty quickly this should turn on pretty quick and see what type of wattage we're receiving all right we're already uh 90 all right it goes up and down for a moment that's pretty normal but as you can see there we're getting 98 watts out of a 100 watt panel now that's insanity just so you'll know okay we do have really strong sun we have no clouds and i will tell you i've never gotten 98 watts on a 100 watt panel never in my lifetime all right guys i just grabbed the ecoflow mini okay because the battery is full on the max and uh, i didn't check that so to be fair i'm going to connect this to the mini and we're going to see what type of wattage we're getting and then we're going to do the same test on the uh you know the renergy panel so again we're here in the back of the unit plug this in turn it around quickly and let's see what we get all right it's on 28 percent charged And I mean, boom, I mean, it's just up there. That is amazing. 97 watts on a 100 watt panel. 96. All right, that's good for me. I mean, showing 98 a moment ago, but still 96 to 98 watts on a 100 watt panel is amazing. Let's check out the Renogy. Now we do need to disconnect our panel. And in order to do that, you need a disconnector tool. We'll put this link in the description. It is a very simple tool. Okay, all you need to do is, uh, you know, these clips here just need to be pushed in. And so what it does is if you just put it on like that and then pull it out and you're done. All right, that's the Renogy. Let's go ahead and plug it in. You know, so again, same thing, male to female, no problem. Push that in there, nice click. Take this, plug it in, and run over. Actually, I unplugged a mini, so yeah, let's see what we get. Um, angle is uh, also the same, needs to be a little bit more angled for the winter where the sun is, you know, just uh, in that corner there. All right, push this in. Turn it around, and let's watch. All 
No, I mean, Renogy's showing 102 watts. I, I, that's amazing. I, at times, I got 74 on a Renogy. I don't know why I'm getting 101 and 102. Again, the sun is so strong, there's no, no uh, clouds out. But that's amazing. Again, I've tested my Renogies in the past. I've gotten maybe 75, 76. But this is the highest I've ever gotten. You know? I'm just leaving it for now. Just kind of staying on top of it so you could see. But ladies and gentlemen, you know, for a real quick test, just to plug these two in to the same power station on the same day with the same sun. Well, what do you think? All right, I put the Bouge RV back up, okay? And I'm going to do another test with the Bouge RV. And this is immediately after. Again, angle is exactly like the Renogy. I don't want no excuses. We want a good test. So let's plug this in and let's see what we get. Okay, coming on at 99 watts. Same sun, same angle. We definitely got a couple more, that's for sure. You know, angle is everything, too. I mean, if you're slightly off by just a little bit, and, and I'll tell you if I could do this. Let me see if I can do this. If I can actually move the panel. Well, I can't really do it and shoot video. But if I change this panel angle, I mean, just a little bit. Let me see if I could do it. I might be able to. A little bouncy here, guys. But I'm going to move my hand to the right for a second. I'm changing the angle. Now look at that. Okay, I mean 101. You know, so these panels are head to head pretty much the same. I mean, and and I'll tell you, you know, I know you know it's, it's so important to have these tests. You know, at the end of the day, what did you get? But 101 watts. That means that these two panels can produce the same with the same sun, same power station, and same angle. Now I'm going to push it out a little bit, and uh, it's going to go down a little bit because the sun, all right? But if I lay it back, yep, 100, 101. And then if I lay it down more, it goes back to that 99. So best we're seeing is 101. Okay, and uh, why not pull out the Renogy and do it again? All right, we're bringing back the Renogy. And we're going to move it this time a little bit so you can see. Now I'm going to put the same angle that I had before. That was pretty much the angle I went with. You know, I just look at the sun behind the panel to tell me. Um, but let me plug these guys in. No need to show you. I'm going to do it nice and quick so we can just connect the panel. And really, let's just see. All right, let's connect this XT60 to the back and get on the screen quick. All right, so we're at 100, like we were before. Now I'm gonna move this to the side. See if I can get an, a view here. Okay, I got a view. And here go, I'm gonna move this now. Slightly up, there's 101. So uh, optimal angle. Move it out more, it should go down a little bit. Yep, okay. And then if I lay it down like I had it before, I got 100. So yeah, slightly up will give me that 101, just like with the Bouge RV. Wow. Okay, guys. Well, a simple test, but you know, some people are buying these products and they want to know. Hey guys, if you're really enjoying this video, take a moment, give us a thumbs up. Brooklyn and I would really appreciate it. Thank you. All right, guys, we're going to go ahead and use this multimeter to check our voltage and our amps on the solar panels. All right, so 
So let's get started. I'll put some links in the description on this if you're interested in picking one up. All right, guys, we're going to go ahead and check volts, and then we're going to check amps so we can give you that information. We're using a multimeter. Um, we will put some links in the description on this one. Okay, but uh, let me zoom out a little bit, and uh, let's see what we get as far as voltage first. Okay, all we're going to do right now is really just take our cables. We're going to take our negative and put it in our negative. And our positive into our positive. And here's the good news. We are getting 22.3 volts out of the Bouge RV. Let me go ahead and set this up now and we'll check the amps to see what amps we're getting. Now when checking amps, what you need to do is you move the, the uh, red terminal from here to here. You leave the black one in the middle, but you move it here because you're checking amps. Over here you're checking volts. Alright, so let's go ahead. We, and by the way, you change the dial all the way. Uh, in this case, I'm changing it to 10 amps, um, which is going to be above, you know, what I'm testing on this panel. So let's go ahead and put this in and see what we get. So again, I'm just going to insert the terminals here a little fumbly while I'm doing this with uh, the camera. Okay, just want to make sure I get this all the way in. And uh, I am getting... Yeah. Look at that. 6.13 amps. Not bad. Alright, 6.13 is our high on this one. Time to swap out the Bouge RV. And we're going to go ahead and put the Renogy in its place. Okay, we'll see what we get. We're in position. Let's go ahead and check our voltage now and see what we get. Sorry about the camera shakeage, guys. Oh, it is cold, by the way. Pretty cold. All right. Again, in the negative in, the negative terminal, and the positive in the positive terminal. We're getting 22. Point seven. All right, so it's official. Twenty-two point seven volts. And by the way, um, on this multimeter, all I did was put it right here up in the corner. All right, for voltage. And that's it. Let me go ahead and check amps and see what we get. All right, we're ready. Again, we moved the red terminal over to the left side. We switched this to 10 amps right here. And let's go ahead and just plug it in, and then we'll take a look at the screen together. So negative goes into negative. Positive goes into positive. And let's see what we get. We are getting 6.22 on the Renogy. 6.23, 6.23 amps. All right, and there you go. And by the way, um, when you're looking at your MC4 uh, cables, you've got a positive here, it's a red, and then this one would be obviously your negative. I hope that helps. As you can see in the back, we've got our Bouge RV panel. We've got the Renogy panel back here. We've got the EcoFlow Delta Mini. Look at the size difference. The EcoFlow Delta Mini here we use in the, in the you know, testing, and we've got the multimeter as well that we used. The other thing I want to show you is this is the Delta Max, the EcoFlow Delta Max with the extra battery on top. You're talking over 4,000 watt hours, and you can add another battery too. So hopefully you'll check that video out. We'll put that in the links. And then the other thing we did is we went out and, and did some research 
on just how to transport these power stations because they're really heavy. We went out and put some foam in here as well. We did a video on power station transportation. I will put a image uh, in the corner there so you can see what that looks like. I'll also put a link in the right corner if you want to check that out, guys. Well, the head-to-head -head is over, and you need to make the decision. I wanted to give you the information. We did the testing. We took a good look at these two solar panels, and really, it's up to you. I hope the information was helpful. We definitely like doing head-to-heads. So thank you so much for watching our video. We surely hope you subscribe. We surely hope you hit like. And thank you so, so much. Hey guys, take a moment and give us a thumbs up. We'd really appreciate it. As you can see, Brooklyn, she's waving her tail for you. Take a moment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit the bell and you'll get notified of new videos we come out with. Also, follow us and contact us on Instagram, Twitter, or Facebook. We'd love to have you. Thank you so much and have a wonderful day.